We're Jenna and Jeremy. After 14 months of RV life, we sold the RV and booked a one-way flight to travel the world. Follow our adventures as we explore more of our incredible planet Earth. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for weekly travel videos. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok, Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good stuff. After exploring the impressive UNESCO World Heritage City of Quito for over a week and going higher than we've ever been at Cotopaxi National Park, it's time for the big Ecuador finale as we head to the Galapagos Islands for 10 days. We flew one way from Quito to GPS Airport on Baltra Island for $98.73 per person. Here you have to pay the Galapagos National Park entrance fee of $100 in cash. Don't make the mistake we just did by coming to the Galapagos Islands, ready to go, waiting in a long line for an hour, and then you get to the counter and it's $100 per person for the national park, cash only. From the airport, you hop on a bus for I think just 2 to $3 per person to go about 8 minutes to the Baltra Ferry Terminal. You hop on a $1 ferry for a couple minutes to go across to Santa Cruz. Then you can get a bus for I think $5 per person and about 35 minutes later, you're in the town of Puerto Ayora where we walked about five minutes to our Airbnb. What's up everybody? Jenna and I have just arrived to the Galapagos Islands. We are on Santa Cruz. Okay, let's check out the Airbnb. So as you're walking through, think about what this might cost. At the end, I will tell you the price. Uh, we found this thanks to Airbnb. Very beautiful setting, really cool. Just cool architecture, kind of like a volcanic rock building with some pretty flowers that just got a little fresh rain, some sort of little water droplets, which I love. And come on into our cozy little hut here. All right, so a little living space in here and over here, a small kitchen. We've got a nice table to sit and eat. Small little kitchenette, a few things to cook if we want to, some fresh water to drink. A uh, nice little refrigerator. Oh, we were going to close those. That's okay. They're open, but you can hand me the camera for yourself for fun. <laughs> hey, what's up? Nice little opening. And there, they're closed now. But yeah, just a cool room. Now we're in the bedroom. And we do have a TV. We do have some AC, which is awesome because it is a little toasty here on the islands. We're on the equator. It's actually not bad though, like 70s, low 80s. Um, very cool bed. Kind of, it's just fascinating. I don't even really know how to describe the way that this is built, but it just looks cool. It's just interesting. It's different. We've never really stayed in a place quite like this. Um, make sure you check out the little mini alcove closet thing. And then another small little open closet there. And then lastly, the bathroom. Not a huge one. I'll let you enter there by yourself. But yeah, not bad at all. Very nice spot. We're just a few blocks from the center of town. So we're gonna go find some food we just got in. Might also go to the Charles Darwin, Darwin Research Station, Research Center. And um, also, I think we're only a few blocks from the beach. So we're gonna go walk around. How and much it was out. it? All right, you ready? $137 for three nights. <laughs> $45.66 per night. Budget Not travel, baby. So yeah, compared to what we're used to in the States, this is a bargain for a cool spot. Let's Sweet. go explore. Woo woo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for so much more from the Galapagos Islands. See ya.